On July 9, 2017, at 4.30 a.m., Pope Francis tweeted, quote, I entrust sailors, fishermen, and all those in difficulty on the seas far away from home to the loving protection of Mary, the star of the sea. Uh, I confess to you that I do get the Pope's tweets. I'm on his list to see what he has to say. And when I read this one at the time, it had gathered 3,384 retweets, retweets, which means that other people sent it out, and 14,956 likes. When I looked at these uh, statistics, I, I must confess that my heart, it just sank. I, I think of over a billion Catholics in this world who are being taught this teaching. They're being taught that in their difficulties, in their trials, in their struggles, that they should look to Mary to trust her for loving protection, to trust that she is the star of the sea. Let me show you what the Holy Bible has to say. In 1 Timothy chapter 2, verses 3 to 6, it talks about God, who is our Savior. And it says that he desires all men to be saved and to come to the knowledge of the truth. And here is the truth. For there is one God, and there is only one mediator between God and men, and it is the man, Christ Jesus. Verse 6 says that he gave himself... He gave himself as a ransom for all to be testified in due time. According to the Bible, there is only one divine human person that we should look to as our mediator, as our helper, as our savior. Uh, he is our helper in every difficulty. It is, quote, the man, Christ Jesus. That's what the Bible says. And he offered himself as a ransom for all, for all fishermen, for people that are on the ocean, people that work on land, people in China, Africa, Russia, America, Canada, all around the world. Jesus Christ himself gave his life as a ransom for every single human being. And he needs to be our focus. He needs to be our center. He needs to be the person that we trust with our whole heart in the midst of the battles of life. In Matthew chapter 11, verse 28, here's a very uh, well-known passage, but one that we need to be uh, deeply impressed with. Jesus said, come not to Mary, not to man, not to teachers and professors of theology and uh, even pastors, as good as they may be. Jesus said, come to me, all you who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. This is an appeal that comes directly from Jesus Christ. Uh, and this appeal shows us that an appeal to Mary and for people to look to Mary and to trust her for loving protection, this is really a counterfeit. This is a false teaching that is not in accordance with the New Testament. Uh, it's a very dangerous teaching. Salvation comes only through Jesus Christ. In the book of Revelation, the last chapter of the Bible, chapter 22, verse 16, this is what Jesus himself says. He says, I, Jesus, have sent my angel to testify to you these things in the churches. I am the root and the offspring of David. I am the bright and the morning star. Uh, Pope Francis said that Mary is the star of the seas, and yet Jesus said that he is the bright and the morning star. He is the star of the show. He's the star of heaven, the star of earth, the star of the sea, the star of everything in it. Uh, in the book of Philippians, chapter 2, verse 10 and 11, the Bible says that someday at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. And I can't wait for that day. I, I, want, I want to bow down uh, on my knees and give honor to Jesus Christ, my Savior, my Lord, who's everything uh, to me and who is the only one that can get me up to the throne of God. And you too. In these last days of history, before Jesus returns, in these last days of difficulty, of trial, of conflict, and of temptation, and uh, popular deceptions that get tweeted and retweeted, uh, and are heard on the radio and television and, and around the world. Let's surrender our hearts and our lives to Jesus. Let's focus our minds on him, on his changeless love for each of us, on his infinite resources to help us with our problems, on his longing desire to forgive each of our sins, and on his all-powerful strength to give us victory over Satan, over self, over sin, and over all temptation. As we near Earth's final crisis, don't be deceived. Trust Jesus.
for his loving protection and look forward to his soon return.